Lander, Wyoming. Look at that cool Purina Chow Mill over there. So let's check the weather radar real quick. See the route we're gonna do. It takes us, instead of down Highway 28 and around, it takes us up and over the mountains. So we're gonna gain a lot of elevation right here. See the mountains just over there. I think that the majority of the rain has been over here in the big mountains. So I'm hoping we can sneak through there without getting too muddy or too wet. Wife and I came out here last summer, it was, and holy cow, it made an impression on me. And this is just one little segment of the Wind Rivers. This is kind of the only part you can really drive through. It's uh, about a 26 mile ride from down there to the highway, but some pretty epic terrain up here. Look at that awesome hairpin windy road, man. It's freaking awesome. Not sure when I'll make it back to these parts, but oh, that trail over there looks super awesome. Maybe, I don't know about taking the bike up it, but uh, the Land Cruiser for sure. Looks like it branches off, goes that way and that way. I don't think it goes too far, but a lot of these, a lot of these trails, these forest roads that head into the heart of the Wind Rivers, uh, they don't go in too far, so it's all backpacking only, really. What a glorious, glorious morning, people. Whew. Does it get any better than this? If those clouds were there, you could see this huge freaking bowl. Dudes, we just crested over the summit at 9,500 feet. Does it get any better than this? These fall colors, a little bit of weather challenge, but just enough to make you appreciate the sunshine. This is totally freaking awesome. Should I 
fish? Should I do some fishing? Oh my god, I think I should do some fishing. Oh my god, I think I need to do some fishing. Either way, I gotta stop. Oh yeah, the plan, what I had envisioned was get up here last night, you know, early enough in the afternoon to actually do some fishing. Dude, I think there's some big monster trout right in here that need to be pulled out of here. Oh my god. I have to try. I have to try. Otherwise I will regret it forever. Okay. We're doing it. Oh yeah. Oh my god. This is gonna be awesome. Awesome. Whew. Man alive. Look at this place. Would you just look at it? Oh yeah? What you think about it? Little chipmunk. Look at this. Just look at this, though. All right. What 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 bugs are they eating right now? Here we are, dudes. We're gonna try this big old fat honker. All right. So I'm not gonna rig up the chestnut, but man, that is some swift dang water right there, huh? down here and by cruise I mean sneak sneaky sneaky oh man look at this let's start over here unfortunately the freaking breeze picked up kind of bumming me out and the sunshine went away but oh man oh man look at this okay I would expect there'd be a big old brownie in here. Oh shit, hell yeah. Had one. He freaking got airborne for it too. All right, good, they're in here. And they're interested. Let's sneak down that way where he was at. this bad boy a shot. Ultra tiny fish, ultra tiny little fly. Look at this teeny little mosquito. <laughs> this is it, I'm pretty sure this is it right here. Fly, man. Come on. Okay, we've changed everything to a pheasant tail, beadhead pheasant tail. The dropper weight about three and a half, four feet down. Break indicator. This is gonna be my last shot here, and then we're gonna hit the road. Man. I can't think of any self-respecting fish that wouldn't want to just munch down on that delicious-looking morsel. Okay, I've switched to the San Juan worm. Now, I have never caught a fish on a San Juan worm, ever. But I don't fish them very often, but these guys are feeding now in the middle of the water column, so if this doesn't do the trick, then I don't know what will. 
and I'm out of here. <laughs> Damn it, dude. They are coming to the surface now. Freaking ant terrestrial. Right, let's see if I can snag a couple more since we're doing good and then we're out of here. Oh man, I thought the dang camera was rolling. Just scored that beautiful little rainbow there. It's a big one too, man. He's not tiny. He came up like a freaking predator, vicious. The smorgasbord of trout in here. So cool, you can just watch him come. Look, that guy's coming right to it right now. Boop, got him. <laughs> oh man. Calm down, little bud. Oh shit, he got off. Oh, that's good, makes it easier for me. But man, it's freaking epic, dude. When you finally figure out what the hell they want, and they go for every one. Been about an hour and 10 minutes here at one of the prettiest little places I've ever fished and my goodness it was well worth it I'm sure if I spent if I had a bunch more time here I could pull some bigger ones out of here but time to go man time to hit the road totally freaking awesome though totally freaking awesome I loved every minute of that Whew. Beauty. absolutely beautiful can't wait to come back Wind River Mountains here in Wyoming, about to cruise for four solid hours from here home. So that'll be a wrap for this trip on the video front, anyway. Preparing to get a bit wet as we get rolling over that way. Quite a bit of rain showers and thunderstorms back home in Utah. And of course, naturally, the wind. 
I gotta have a headwind, you know. I've gotta have a headwind. I can't go with having, you know, a little bit of a crosswind, a tail, a tailwind. No. I'm gonna have a good solid 20 to 30 knot headwind or quartering headwind the whole damn way back. It's just awesome. But hey, the good news is we made it out of the mountains without even having to get muddy. So that's super nice. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear me at all. But I was trying to put the damn camera right here by the out of the wind. So it's been a hell of a trip. We'll have to see you on the next one, I guess.